Welcome back everybody. Today we're going to do another comparison. Not necessarily a versus. I like to say versus, but not necessarily a versus. We're going to do Husqvarna 60cc class. We're going to do the Husqvarna 460 Rancher against the 562 XP. Now, both 60cc saws, I believe you can see it right here, 60 cc's, 60 cc's, homeowner, professional grade. Um, again, there's, there's really no comparison between the two. This thing is going to wipe out this. The last video we did with the 550 XP, the 550 would, would beat this. But again, you're looking at, I believe this is about 550 brand new. And these are eight something, eight, 875 brand new. Don't let that fool you. This uh, I actually bought used off Marketplace and I think I paid 400 for that on Marketplace. Now you're gambling with what are you getting from somebody that you don't know? Is it smashed up, beat up, banged up, showing signs of, of on its way out and somebody's, hey, let me just dump this. Luckily for me, I'm on two, going on, Two and a half years with this saw and this is i think i said this in, in 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 our introduction video this saw is the backbone of the business that saw gets used more than any other i have two other ones brand new sitting on the shelf waiting for this thing to die not that i want it to die but it just won't die uh still runs great has great compression uh can easily when i say easily Put a 24 inch bar on this. I don't mean cut 24 inch material, but put a 24 inch bar on there. Helps me with bending over and stuff. I, I'm six foot five, a 20 inch bar. I'm bending over a lot of the day and then it starts to take its toll on my back. So I'm thinking about putting a 24 inch bar on there. Again, not that I'm gonna put it in 24 inches of material, but it will pull a 24 inch bar you're cutting in, in in 20 inch material like I'll, I'll bury this bar that's a 20 inch bar on there now 20 inch bar on both so it's pretty fair but uh i'll bury that in maple oak whatever in it and sh it pulls it, as long as you're not trying to like host the dogs in and, and and really smoke into it you just let her eat and she'll eat uh the 460 this uh was the backbone of the business like when i first started um i had that 450 two 455s and i bought this with a with a, a 24 inch bar on it i mean like would it pull it again yeah in 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 your your soft woods your your pines your spruces and stuff like that hemlock uh, it it's really starts to struggle in in your hardwoods maple and ash what we have around here um oak you couldn't pull 24 inches in that not without frying it but uh it uh, again a great work saw like if this is if you were a a, a homeowner and, and cut a lot of fire with this is probably all you would ever need like this would you know your your, your average log guy isn't dropping off 24 inch monster logs or anything like that um that's how it would serve you absolutely perfectly fine in it but we're going to show you the difference between a 60cc homeowner's saw, again, that you buy at Lowe's. I, I, and I literally did buy this at Lowe's. There's the sticker right there. Um, no, it's not. That's a Husqvarna. Sorry. Um, but no, th th this, I can't, I can't knock it one bit. Um, this saw's run hours, countless hours. You know, I remember getting it and thinking like, oh, all right, I got a big, a big boy saw. And now this is one of the, the smallest ones I have. But uh, one thing I will say, they come with these safety chains. It's a low kickback chain. Uh, these are like, so you will see a difference in the cut. It's not as aggressive. It's a little more soft. It's a little more user friendly. And when I mean kickback, like if you ever get your tip into something, it doesn't grab material and... and toss the front of the bar up at you these guys will do that if you're not careful but you'll see how much more aggressive they cut it's it's more like so to speak a professional chain um that's really the the 
other than that like again like i said on the other one this one does come with a sight glass you can see how much fuel no sight glass these saws all of these have what, what they call auto tune there's a small computer inside this that logs your hours your time uh improper starts and everything what it also does is it, it, it tunes the carburetor as it's running like you 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 let it sit in idle for a while and it takes altitude temperature humidity all different readings and it auto tunes itself this guy not so much you've got your 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 high and your low jet your uh idle you've got to do all that by hand that's another thing you get with the with the the, the professional grade saws um other than that all right we're gonna do a couple little cuts for you just showing that i'm not trying to push into it and it's just let the saw do the cutting let the the weight of the saw run it keep it at those higher rpms all right so that's 10 and a half inches of of maple that we we're cutting there nice hard center on there uh like i said earlier about this this saw with the safety chain I'll tell you what like I, I i took a bit off of these rakers and she's she's super sharp she was still pulling like i could feel it wanting to pull me in so i can't really i shouldn't i, I, sh I should actually retract a bit of that statement of it i mean it, it definitely helps with anti-kick kickback but uh by no means is it much less of a quality i mean it's it's not as aggressive as that one but it's still it'll get you put it that way this is i'm not saying that that's a chain that that you shouldn't respect or anything like that but I'm sure you saw between the two there's there is a bit of a difference like this uh you get what you pay for um again the the the, the 460 i can't i can't knock that saw either that, that's it's got a soft spot in my heart for for the first year i believe year or so before i bought my first pro saw i thought oh this is all i need i shouldn't need anything bigger than this well until you get some big boy material but uh no well, that's your comparison. Which side do you need? You cutting a lot of firewood in that? Both sides would you do you justice. You know, depends how much time you want to spend cutting. If you have 10 cords of wood that you want to cut and you want to do just a, a, a little bit here and there and, and work through it, I'd say this guy is your best bang for your buck. Or if you're like, I want to bang it all out in a weekend, this guy would smash it for you. Yeah. All right, guys. Thanks for stopping by. Hope somebody gets a little bit of information out of this. All right. Have a good day.